Hey guys, welcome to Blowback Industries. My name is Martin and today I have a really cool video for you. Now, a few weeks ago, I got to visit an awesome gel blaster shop called Oz Blasters and I got to hang out with the owner, Rocky, who showed me around the shop and we got to have a chat about everything gel blasters and he uh, got some pretty cool information about the upcoming state of airsoft in Australia as well as uh, potentially a new gel blaster field coming out in Queensland. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm also doing a free giveaway of an SKD G18 gel blaster pistol. Very nice. Along with this cool hat, all courtesy of Oz Blasters. Now, in order to enter the competition, you do need to live in Queensland. So I do apologize for everyone that lives everywhere else in the world. It is what it is. So if you wanna be in the competition, you gotta do three things. Firstly, subscribe to the channel. Secondly, hit that like button on this video. Thirdly, click the link in the description to sign the petition to help get Airsoft back into Australia. Now, there is also a secret code that I put somewhere in the video and you must put that code in with your submission. Ah, that's enough chit chat. Let's get to the video. Welcome. To hey. Oz Blasters. What's going hey, on, everybody? Mate. mate, you've just popped in at a fantastic time. We're having a bit of a break, so mate, come on in, have a look around. Welcome to Oz Blasters, mate. So, my name is named after my grandfather, Rocco, and to make it easy on the birth certificate and all my friends in the future, they decided to call me Rocky. Not that that made it any better. <laughs> So basically the typical story of a business where it started opening with $100 is my story. So my story is that I started with a gel blaster and I paid $200 for it basically for the first one. I doubled that in my first weekend within four days. So I went back to my supplier, I bought a couple more and then doubled that. So basically in six weeks, I made $6,000 in selling gel blasters. This is before you were allowed to sell them on Facebook or on Gumtree, and that's what got me into gel blasters. People were so intrigued. I was getting phone calls, messages, these are great. I got in contact with a shop owner over at Oz Blasters where we are, over at the Red Elephant, which is shop 94129 on the Warrego Highway. He gave me one month free rent. That was my start. So the money that I had profited from the previous gel blasters, I spent $800 on a massive sign that I got a good deal on, some flags, some help from Bunnings on material, put the shop up, no rent for about a month. So that secured me for the extra money that I had to pay on items that I needed to advertise. And three and a half to four years down the track, here we are. We're very, very well known. Uh, we have a huge clientele all the way down from the Gold Coast to Toowoomba. And we've been doing very well. We've got a very good reputation on upgrades and quality blasters. I've been in a company we manufacture concrete pipes, culverts and things like that. And the company that I work for I've been with them for over 10 years. So I'm now a crane operator. I work for these guys as a crane operator. And I'm not gonna leave there anytime soon. I'd rather have two guys employed than unemployed at my shop to give them a go. And both of the guys have been there since, what, three and a half years. One guy's the new guy, he's been there for a year and a half. So these guys are very well trained uh, with customer service, which I pride against. We do our absolute best to make sure our customers are happy. And this is another reason why we hand pick our gel blasters to sell for our clientele in this region. So I'm Zach, I've been working with Oz Blasters for about a year and a half now. Uh, so I do uh, tech work, I do all the gas blowback repairs and upgrades. So this is my favorite pistol, the uh, HX split slide. So it is a uh, AW Customs, Split slide. Oop. That's a good excuse to buy one. Uh, one of my favorite ones just because of how snappy the trigger is and the trigger response is ridiculously good. Because um, when, uh, when you're on the field playing, you want the snappiness and the quick response and you know the reliability. <laughs> what the? Do that again. Wow. That's quick. And then my second favorite blaster is actually my uh, personal one. So this is a 13 to one uh, double bell gearbox in a uh, CNC receiver here from Oz Blasters. Uh, I've also got the scope cam that I got from Oz Blasters as well uh, with a, uh, a light torch on it as well. So we do uh, custom builds for customers. We've got some custom builds as showpieces. So we've got like I've built 
HPAs, I built DSGs, uh, full custom pistols. We built a lot of different, a lot of different things. Feel free to come down, check out the store. Uh, myself or one of the guys here at Ozblasters will definitely look after you. So basically, once Ozblasters started, uh, it was our second year in with the company, and we we're getting a lot of people asking where are the gel blaster fields that we can play indoor or outdoor and we suggested the ones that were most current at the time in Ipswich um, down at the Caboolture area down there we had nothing here that drove a lot of um, interest in me personally and there's a lot of people who travel 45 minutes even longer just to get one to play with their family so I come up to the conclusion I went and approached a few landowners and discussed about purchasing or even renting some property off them to get a gel blaster filled up and running. For the last year and a half we've gone through about seven different properties. Unfortunately the Lockie Valley region holds a lot of flood zones so council have knocked me back on all of those aspects. There was one that we went to earlier today to have a look and uh, we can use a gel blaster filled above the crest but nothing down below it because council require that all items that may float need to be pinned down so you can't really bolt down a car or 44 gallon drums or a boat or anything like that so we're still out there we're hopeful and we're going to find one and we'll keep looking until we do if there is anybody out there in the locky valley region that wants to come and help support oz blasters as far as a gaming field or a center anything like that whether it's indoor outdoor or both please give us a call or leave an email with us and we'll definitely get in contact with you. It'll be great for the whole community to be part of this. I find them we're all in for the one job and that's to help build a community for gel blasters and keep gel blasters in, in Queensland and let's hopefully spread it out to Australia wide. Um, who knows, maybe 12 months, two years, three years, we might have airsoft in. So let's keep these things happening now and control the safety value of gel blasters in our community because when it's time to get something better like airsoft, it shouldn't be a problem for the government to see. There is already talks last year with the Australian government to get airsoft in. And apparently the government has requested a second or third interview at this point to consider airsoft coming back to Australia. I don't know when it's coming, but it's coming. I'm very certain we're 80, 85% we're gonna have it in Australia. Guarantee, I reckon, within the three years, two years even, may even be sooner. Look, there are large companies out there that are making a lot of uh, interest in Airsoft and the clientele that we're getting for gel blasters, they want Airsoft. Mm. And I think if the Australian government can take a little piece of the pie, I think they're, very gonna, they're gonna be very interested in that for sure. So I love my RC car range. I used to race RC cars when I was younger, uh, in my 20s and 30s. Uh, I've probably still got probably about eight RC cars here I love. Love them. <laughs> love them. I love drones. Drones are fantastic. We also sell drones at the shop, DJI and Autels. So if you guys are out there looking for a drone, please come and see us. We have a huge range to choose from. It's just a freedom of looking at your screen and looking at everything. Just able to go up to the sky, look around, chase things. Yeah, it's great. I had a hawk chase me one day. It was great. Great experience. I got away from him. <laughs> Big thank you to you, Martin, for, for, for this uh, very special experience. Um, I subscribe to you. I'm a big fan. Uh, I am. There's me. <laughs> I think between you, myself, and all the other guys like Loi Guido and all the people out there, including the other Joel Blaster companies, well done, thumbs up. Let's keep it all together and let's make Joel Blasters last a lot longer because I need something to go to on my, my, my days off. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Okay, so all you people out there that don't have a Joel Blaster, go out there, get one from your local store and help Contribute. <laughs> Sound like you just farted. <laughs> <laughs> that was the chair. I don't remember not to turn the chair. <laughs> so this guy, his name is Blaster. <laughs> and he really doesn't like me. <laughs> Martin's now chasing kids with RC cars. That's great for Martin. <laughs> well, you know, when you're on a gel blaster field, you should... <laughs> Shake it up, kids. Get my practice in. <laughs>
There we go. Perfect. Uh, with their families and their friends. Right now, I gotta press record. Hard joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> but I can do it all again. <laughs>